Welcome back. Taking a live look high above Dallas. Beautiful skies out there. You can see quite a little bit of clouds right there to give maybe some relief from this heat. But, you know, Mother Nature here in Texas, it's not letting up anytime soon. It is hot out there. So meteorologist mm -hmm. Colin Myers with our first alert forecast. And, Colin, I feel like today is a good day to be by the pool with a lot of sunblock. Absolutely. And you know what? Uh, cold drink in hand, maybe. Yeah. I, I tell you what, th those few clouds, that was more than we've seen for a while, though. It is. Um, and we talked about that on Futurecast. Some changes coming up. We'll talk about that. I think next weekend actually looks like a big break, and we'll talk about that. First, though, looking south on Central, it just looks hot, doesn't it, out there? Heat index still 105. Remember, uh, the excessive heat warning goes for another two hours, or closer to an hour and a half now. It expires at 7. Tomorrow, they'll do a step below that, the heat advisory. So we're going to drop the weather alert at 7 o'clock tonight, but still tomorrow, treat this uh, as nearly the same. Heat safety precautions, advisories probably through most of next week, if I had to guess, maybe through Thursday. And then we'll start to see a drop off maybe Friday into Saturday, okay? But even July 4th, going to be very hot. All right, first of all, there's your excessive heat warning in the pink. Heat advisories in the orange. That will be expanded tomorrow. Heat advisory through 7 o'clock tomorrow. But this warning will fall off at 7 o'clock tonight. Your phones, you may get an automated alert that just says it's being canceled. And then tomorrow, heat advisory. Uh, without further ado, the heat indices, not pretty. In fact, one or two of these may have gone up uh, in the past 10 minutes. Hillsborough, 111, uh, 107. I see a 108. Waxahachie, 104. So still all across the board after 5 o'clock, extremely warm. And we're seeing the heat indices uh, a little bit further up there as well. So high resolution model, not much here. A weak disturbance through the central plains. May try to trigger maybe a stray shower too. Better bet is going to be along the Red River. But maybe as far south as the 380 corridor, perhaps. I don't think this is going to materialize tomorrow afternoon. We're going to be uh, too much high pressure at mid levels, kind of sitting southwest of us, is going to suppress that. Also, maybe some localized subsidence. We're not going to see stuff in the afternoon, but I think maybe overnight into early tomorrow morning, stray shower or two can't be ruled out along and north of 380. All right, muggy cast here. Back to the emojis. Okay, by tomorrow uh, or Monday afternoon, really, we start to see a little bit of humidity creep back up way more, and then by Monday afternoon and evening, we start to see that go up. Okay, first hurricane of the Atlantic season barrel has just formed. Uh, look at the maximum winds at 75 now, so it's strengthening. And as it moves west towards the Lesser Antilles right here, this is just north of South America, it's actually projected to become a Category 3, so the first major hurricane of the year. That's pretty unusual for July to see that. Waters are very, very warm. There was less dust coming over from Africa, so there it is. Uh, expected to be a Category 3 as soon as it looks like they updated it to Monday morning. So pretty strong there. And then through the Caribbean, it'll weaken a little bit. A little more wind shear in here. It'll run to some more convection, some other thunderstorms in the area. But then the question becomes, does it kind of shoot the gap in the Yucatan and enter the Gulf? Because a lot of models then take it further to the west. Something to watch there. Also a low chance of formation in the southern Gulf. All right, our next big break is next weekend. Take a look at this Friday. We don't want to scare this off, but you could start to get excited. Excited. More of a uh, prominent front moves in, a little more of a disturbance, breaks down that high pressure, it slides to the west, and look at this through Saturday. I think we get some decent rain, possibly, next Saturday, too. All right, so 100, 101, 102. I've left in that very slight rain chance, not a lot. Look at this, though, for next weekend. 20% Friday, we'll start to see some clouds build back in. And then maybe a few thunderstorms next Friday night. And then in towards Saturday, I think a pretty good bet that we'll see temps drop and a little more rain, guys. Fingers crossed. I never thought I'd be happy to see 93 on know, the screen. I know. <laughs> I mean, that looks, that looks beautiful. It looks like a spring day right there on Saturday. Yeah. Thanks, guys.